Hi YouTube, so the video I'm doing today is the 15 weird facts tag because I'm a weirdo so I figured I'd get it done. I'm going to tag some people below, there's a lot of people I want to tag and if you're interested in doing the video, totally do it, but there's some people that I'd really like to see do it and I will post your names below. So I have the questions right here on my laptop so that's why I keep looking over here. Um, what's a nickname only your family calls you? Mm, I don't, most people call me Tay. But my uncle, who recently passed away, he called me Tabert. It was a really long story, but he's the only one who calls me that, and, um, or called me that, and I'm, yeah, I miss hearing it. But yeah, that would be the one nickname. What's a weird habit of yours? Okay, I have an OCD habit with eating, so if I have a sandwich and it's not cut perfectly in half, I have to eat the smaller half first. It's really weird. Or, like, if I have a bunch of, um, I don't know, like a bunch of fries, I always have to eat the fries before I eat the burger, um, or like a salad, I always have to eat the salad before I eat the burger. I mean, not like an, an appetizer salad. If I go to McDonald's and I get fries and a burger, I have to eat the fries first. It's really weird. And I can't eat burgers without cheese. Like, I can't, I can't do it. I can't eat burgers without cheese. Um, I don't know if that counts. I think that's pretty weird. Do you have any weird phobias? I think I have a mild form of agoraphobia, just because I'm always afraid that, like, I'm not paranoid, but I'm very apprehensive of everybody I meet. And I don't think that's normal. I think I should probably let my guard down a little bit, but I'm very apprehensive, yeah, of even getting on the bus. I'm like, what if someone sees me and they follow me home? Because living on my own is kind of sketchy. I get kind of um, scared. So, yeah, that's probably my one kind of weird phobia. I also hate rats, but I don't think that's weird at all. Um, I'm so glad I live in a rat-free province, thank goodness. What is the song you secretly love to blast and belt out when you're alone? Anything by Justin Bieber. I hate Justin Bieber as a person. I think he's very pretentious and cocky and, and stuck up. But his music is so catchy. I love Boyfriend. I bought it on iTunes. But, uh, yeah, I like dancing to anything Justin Bieber. I like his old school stuff, too, like the 2009 Bieber. Like, that stuff was good, so... What is one of my biggest pet peeves? When people drink something, and no offense to Graveyard Girl, but when someone drinks something and they're like... I can't do it like my dad does it and he not, he knows it bothers me so he he plays it up now I hate it so much that's probably my biggest pet peeve um what's one of my nervous habits I bite my nails like nobody's business and I play with my hair a lot which I think a lot of girls on YouTube do I'll be like playing with it um when I'm nervous I do that and I doodle a lot like if I'm on the phone and I'm nervous or or if I have Anything in front of me that I can write with, I'll just do the little pictures. What side of the bed do I sleep on? I always have always slept on the right side of my bed, like lying down. I'm always on the right side. I guess it's because my bedside table's always been on the right side, but I can't not sleep on the right side. I yeah, I can't do it. What was your first stuffed animal and its name? Well, she's in storage right now, but her name is Betty, and she was this little rabbit thingy and she's about this big and she was so she's so ratty now her ears are like ripped but I loved her she was definitely my safety blanket and she was my first little toy and I remember when I was little she used to go to the doll hospital sometimes because I was a little bit too rough with her so um what's the drink you always order at Starbucks I don't like Starbucks I'm a Timmy's girl at heart but if I had to pick it'd probably just be a um no foam skim milk latte and I usually get venti um because the price difference between a grande and a venti really is just cents so you may as well spend the six dollars instead of the five jk um what was the what's the beauty rule you preach but never actually practice washing my face before bed 100%. I would have so many of these imperfections gone if I faithfully washed my face. I have all the products that you need. Like, I have a Clarisonic, and I have great face washes and toners, and, and I'm so bad with washing my face at the end of the night. Oh, and I always, always preach flossing twice a day, and I only floss once a day. Um, which way do you face in the shower? Well, I usually face away from the shower, but when I'm shampooing or conditioning... I'll face the front and then I'll face the back because if I face the front I can see all the water. I know this is a weird thing. I can see if the water is running clear or if I still have soap in my hair. <laughs> um, do I have any weird body skills? My boyfriend says that one of my toes can curl more than usual. I don't know. And he says my fingers can like curl a lot more than normal people. I was like I'm pretty sure it's normal. And then I can roll my tongue. But I don't think that's very special. Um... What is my favorite comfort food? Food that's bad for you, but I love to eat it anyways. Okay, so I can sit down and eat an entire bag of chips in one sitting. 
Um, I'm definitely a salty girl. I have a sweet tooth, but I love salty food. I love McDonald's fries, um, but I don't know portion control. I really don't. So I can't just have like one chip or a handful of chips. I have to eat an entire bag. And whenever I'm upset, it's definitely my go-to, Miss Vicky's salt and vinegar. What is a phrase or exclamation you always say? Okay, this is funny. So my friend Georgia, who lives in New Brunswick now, she came up with this word called jank. So you can use it in any context, like that guy is so janky or this shirt is so old and janky. Like you can use it in a negative way or you can use it in a positive way to be like, that is so jank. It just depends on like the inflection of your voice and the tone. And it's funny because I've gotten my mom and dad to start saying it now. Um... And we'll sometimes like substitute words like my boyfriend and I instead of McDonald's we'll be like let's go to McJank um yeah and then <laughs> this is Bab ever since I saw Django every time I see someone that's kind of weird or out of the ordinary I'd be like oh my gosh that guy is such a Django um which doesn't even make sense <laughs> sense I go through phases where I overuse words but Jank has stuck around since grade 12 so like four years mm, time to sleep what am I actually wearing I wear onesies, Hello Kitty onesies. I wear fluffy pajamas in the winter. Um, and usually I'll just wear a t-shirt. Um, I don't sleep naked. I, I've seen a lot of people do this tag and they say they sleep naked. I don't sleep naked. So, yeah, that is the 15 weird facts tag. I just thought of something I wanted to mention and now I can't remember it. It was something weird that I do. Um, weird phobias. I don't know, man. I had some sort of weird thing I was going to mention that I do, and now I can't remember. Oh well, that's it for me. I'm kind of weird, so I am going to list the people below that I want to tag in this, and I hope you have a happy, what am I doing? Charlie's Angels. Um, have a very happy Saturday afternoon. Um, actually, probably Sunday. This video will be posted on Sunday. Okay, bye!